Sorry, share my screen. You can hear me and see the screen, right? Very good. So we're gonna see today uh, on how you can build um, dashboard using stream date on in, in the afternoon we'll see with React. So for now let's focus on stream date. So uh, Streamlit is a Python framework. So if you are familiar with Python, it wouldn't be hard to understand how Streamlit work. The same language, it's just a bit of a structure difference, which is easy to understand. So Streamlit helps you to create interactive da dashboard. Uh, Streamlit Redash in Power, Power BI is something that, uh, there are other frameworks also. They are usually used in data science world to build dashboard. And one of them is Streamlit. It helps you to create interactive dashboard very easily compared to other frameworks. Uh, it's built on top of Python. Like I said, it, you, you can access Python environments, any Python package uh, library. You can install it with Streamlit and access it within your within the Streamlit framework. So it's really easy to uh, get used to. It's really an easy platform to showcase your work. So it's easy to display any data science and make projects uh, compared to other web frameworks like React, Vue, and others. So the installation is simple. You just use pip install Streamlit, and you have Streamlit on your machine. Uh, then create any Python module applique uh, file, and after you're done with your project or whatever you've written, just run it like this and you get yourself a web application that display your work. So as a demo, we're going to see creating this particular uh, dashboard interface using the Streamlit. I have put a lot of references here on Streamlit. One of the references we're going to check out when doing this demo would be this one. So it's uh, found on the Streamlit documentation. So the documentation is clear to understand. Anything you want, you can uh, refer here. So if you want to write a headline or something, you just use SAT, Streamlit.write, and you will see it's displayed on your uh, uh, front end on your application. So the commands are simple. You just say SAT and just write what you want. Uh, if you want a jpeg or a toggle icons, a radio icon on your front end application, uh, the command is quite simple. You just put it on your module and run it, and it will display. So you can refer this for further modification of your touch project. So let's see the sample example here. So I have. So I have here, I have created upload py as you can see here. So we're gonna refer this particular module. So let's run it right now and see. When you if you when you install PIMP Streamlit, I have already installed it. But once you install it and run Streamlit Streamlit Hello. It will run the default Streamlit interface. This one you cannot change, it's found on the source code. But if the installation is correct, you should be able to see this. So this is the normal Streamlit, the default Streamlit interface that I have built as a built-in. So where there is a sidebar and just you can go through it and you can just uh, create this kind of structures to showcase you work so if the installation works you should be able to see this one but we're gonna create our own app so let's work out on that okay so let me start this one let's run our stream leads run up to the py okay Okay. 
you guys have it right. Okay, sorry. Oh my God, really I'm connecting with hard disk, so. Sorry about that. It's getting stuck. No, I'm sorry. My birthday is getting sick.
Hi guys. So lights out and my battery just died. So I will give this tutorial along with the second one on the afternoon. So uh, let's meet on the afternoon. Okay, I'm sorry about this. Hi team. Yeah, really sorry uh, for the inconvenience we caused. Um, you know how it is um, in Africa, the light situation. So uh, really sorry. Uh, we will make sure to uh, uh, postpone this tutorial at uh, 1 p.m. UTC, I think. So yeah, I will make sure to comfort. And thank you guys for joining. And please make sure to join again later on. And I hope you understand. So yeah, okay. yeah, thank you guys.